G'day there everyone. Um, just a quick video to show Maker J101 wanted to see some caps that I've been pulling out of the TV. It turns out they're not as big as I thought. Um, this is one board out of an old plasma that I had in my shed. Here's some of the caps here. Here's one of the other boards over here. You can see there's whole rows of them there. There's some other really good big caps there. But unfortunately I got really excited myself when I saw that they had some really large numbers written on them. Hopefully you can see that. The camera's not been playing the game and focusing for me. There we go. And I was thinking they were 335 kilovolts, 2 farads. I've got no idea what the kilovolts are. The light blue generally signifies high voltage, so there'll be at least one kilovolt. But there are only one or two microfarads. That's actually the big one that's on there at the moment. I'll just swap that over for you. Point six microfarads on the smaller ones. Interestingly though, that is at 595 kilohertz roughly. Getting up towards 596 kilohertz. That's the frequency it's measuring the cap at. If I put it on to high capacitance, I do get a higher reading. That's for measuring bigger capacitances. It doesn't go under, to, under any UFs. UF is the smallest it goes. It will also measure farads for super caps. Um, but I just thought that was interesting. It won't tell me what frequency though, so maybe it doesn't have one. It could be DC. I'm not sure what's going on there. But um, I just thought that was worth noting. You do get different capacitance values if you're running at a frequency. And some of the other goodies I got that I thought were pretty cool. I'll see if I can get this camera down. Some of these big caps here. This one's not bad. 315 watt volts. I don't know what that's all about. And 680 microfarads. There's quite a few of those. I think I'm going to get about six or eight of them all up out of the TV. A um, couple of cool little induction coils. You can see the it's just a straight coil in there that's been heat shrunk. And there, well, you can see in there. Yeah, you can see a bit of the coil there. Um, I did get, where did that go, there was a toroidal, here it is, over here, toroidal, that looks like an iron powdered epoxy coated core inside there, you can see a bit of yellow, it's only got the two poles though, so I don't know if it's going to be much good for a jewel thief, still, at least that's one core that I won't have to wind by hand. Um, there's a little transformer up here that I'm trying to get this board off. Should be able to get that off as soon as I change the tip on my desoldering gun. It's given out the ghost on me. Um, these guys here are enter offsets. I'll just get my component tester and you can check that out for yourself. This guy's cool. All I do is put the clips on any legs, doesn't matter which ones. And Turn him on. And it tells us that that is an N channel MOF set. Tells me where all the um, legs are, forward voltage, how many milliamps it tested at. Pretty handy little jigger when you strip transistors and stuff out of TVs, like a lot of us do for these projects. And this one was a different end channel MOF set, so I don't know what's going on there. Uh, that one's only got three volt gate thresholds, so that's pretty nice. And there's a few more of those around if you have a look on this board here. I don't know what these little guys here are yet, but they've got some serious heat sink on them. Most of them only have three legs, so I'm guessing they're probably going to be MOF sets or transistors or some kind of um, semiconductor switching device. Got no idea what's under these big heat sinks. Even the heat sinks are hard to get off. I don't know how well you can see, but I did have a go at desoldering that lug there, and um, the heat sink's just so good at sinking the heat that I couldn't get the solder to melt. 
when it did melt, it wasn't melting much. There was nothing from the desoldering gun to suck up. So I've got no idea what's under there, but I'd like the heat sinks off at the very least if I can get them. I might um, end up taking these legs with a small grinder. I'll chuck the grinder in the little hand tool there, see how that goes. But anyway, that's some of the cool goodies that you can expect to find in a plasma TV. Look, there's some more MOSFETs there, I'd say. Another one of those big toroids. Plenty of these high voltage caps, and they've got a pretty decent kit to them for high voltage caps too. A lot of them are only, I see, are only small like these guys. Or well, the typical little round ones, which I've probably got some of over here somewhere in my bucket of parts. This is components from probably four or five cathode ray tube TVs. Now that's normally about the biggest I see those high voltage caps. So these guys here, by comparison, are quite a lot bigger. I'm sure I'll come up with something fun to do with these guys. Anyway, thanks for watching.